Hey guys, welcome back to Carmen Farms. I'm Kaiser. 2023 has finally started. We got in the field. It starts off with spraying. All the fun stuff. Gotta hit my buttons over here. Anyways, it's been a little what bit. But videos wise, well, we've been been sick and we've been doing a lot of shop work but odds and ends we start here do a little there and then we we're back over here and that's kind of how it's been for the last several weeks um, so that's part of the reason why I haven't been around the other thing is is but the good thing now is we have hit it we are back in the sprayer We're getting some pre-emergent down. We're, we've got um, got some weather coming in through the week again. We've been having some really weird weather lately. Um, we've been having these, and this is uh, you know March, but we had this you know 65, 70 degree day, beautiful day, and then the next day we have a 25 degree day uh, with snow or little chance of rain. We've been getting very little moisture, but it's better than nothing. Um, so we keep hoping we're gonna get, keep getting more. Uh, but we've kind of come to the conclusion that we just need to start on when we can go, go ahead and go uh, before we get into a problem. So kind of what we're spraying today is, we're just spraying pre-emergent chemicals basically. And all that is is chemicals that will keep a weed from growing. They don't necessarily kill a weed when it's up, but uh, they uh, can prevent the weed from ever coming up in the first place. So, what we have found, and uh, a lot of farmers, is if you never let the weed come up, you're much further ahead of the game than if you uh, let the weed come up because. Once a weed comes up, you may be able to kill it or you may not. Uh, a lot of these weeds are getting very hard to kill. And so this, the more we can suppress them and ever keep them from trying to germinate and start, the better off we are. So that's basically what we're doing. And right now the chemical that I'm putting down, I'm putting a couple different chemicals, but one in particular, chemical won't how should I say I, I have a time limit of how long I have to have it put down before we plant into it because um, what, what I'm spraying is everything that we're plant, planning on putting to a spring crop whether it's milo or corn um, right now the ground that I'm planning on putting milo to I'm spraying first because it has a longer period I think it has like a 60 day period where it needs to be needed to be sprayed ahead of time there might be a little grace in there but the better off the the longer period I have the better just just make sure we don't injure our crops um, same with corn corn has like a 30 day period so I, I do have a, a little bit of time we're I think we're March 12th no we're March 13th right now and uh, so we do have a little time at the moment with it And, uh, but I don't really want to put myself in a situation where all of a sudden we're in a panic and we got to get it done no matter what. And the weather's just not cooperating. Right now, with the way this weather has been, I'm not participating in it to cooperate anytime soon. So, we're just trying to get when we can. Um, like right now, today, I think it was finally 3, 3 o'clock. It finally warmed up to about 38, 40 degrees temperature-wise. And uh, the wind has calmed down enough that I can actually do something, which basically means I'll get two loads out today, uh, which would equivalent to about 100 and... Actually, about 130 acres is what I'll be able to do, hopefully. But that's... 
that's what we're doing and we're trying to do. I know the sprayer is not the most entertaining thing to watch, especially when you don't even, when you look at it across it all and you don't even see that I'm killing any weeds. Because there is no weeds. That's good. So that's what we're going to keep doing. One thing on the upside with this uh, sprayer though, is we did get a uh, different GPS system in here. It's also now back. It's actually GPS system out of one of our Challenger tractors because well, it's being sold. So, uh, we're, uh, the farm's going through a few different transitions, selling some equipment. I guess that's how it works. But, so we took that GPS and put it into here, and that has made this sprayer just that much better because the old spray system in here, controlling everything, and the guidance was not always working correctly. Um, you, it would shut off, it would, would spray, um, and uh, so yeah, you just kind of had to keep an eye on it, had to make sure all the safeties were on. Not a big deal, but uh, this one works a lot better, even to the point that it turns itself. See, if you guys have been noticing, we've been going back and forth, and I haven't really touched, I haven't actually touched the steering wheel at all. I just tap a button and it turns. Um, that is, that is nice. Uh, probably think I'm lazy, but you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, but yeah, 2023 has begun. We have a lot of spraying. We got to get the wheat top dressed. Um, there's some chemical put down for it here soon. Finish getting all the chemical down uh, for spring crops. After all that, we'll probably move into, uh, we've got a couple circles yet to fertilize, we'll strip till, and also basically be getting planters ready to go, so we'll be seeing a little bit of that to come. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess if there's any, if you guys have any questions or something, comment below and uh, tag along with me on the sprayer guys all right I'll let you guys ride along Got done cleaning the booms out. Get her folded up here. Head it back into town and put it all away. Then we'll see 
what morning brings. Tomorrow's supposed to be one of those, uh, I think it's supposed to be 58, almost 60 degrees. We actually gotta have a couple days again. It's gonna be fairly warm. But, also looks like it's supposed to be very windy. So, yeah. We'll uh, see what happens. Make sure I got everything shut off. We're good. But yep, gonna be get that done and yeah. Anyways, yeah. So we'll see. If it's not windy, we'll get a little more spraying done. If it is windy, this will probably be the end of the video. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, um, I guess. We'll catch you later anyways.